edged and taken by Ian Botham at second slip. A comfortable catch there for Botham. And the outswinger bringing about David Boone's downfall. Graham Dilley dropped out literally sort of an hour before the start of the test match. I'm not fit. So I had a decision to make between Foster and, and Small and Fozzie got upset when I picked Gladstone and, and Gladstone's first over went sort of that way, that way, that way, that way. I don't think he hit the cut strip and I'm going, oh my God, I made the wrong choice. But then next over he got a wicket. Dean Jones getting a very good reception as he comes to the crease. And it's going to be uh, Philip De Freitas opening from the members or northern stand end. Slow. Again, look for four again. There'll be some fours all run. We've already had the two, the one run by Boone and Marsh, and now the one by Jones and Marsh. And now both of them. So a double change affected by Mike Gatting, who won the toss earlier today and decided to ask the Australians to bat first. Oh, he's got him. He's nicked that. Within eight overs, Gatting's plan seemed to be working. Australia was two for 44. We talked about the, the need to do special things, uh, and, and they were done. And I think that, that Beefy actually bowled in that match was quite special. Um, but again, he, he, you know, Ian Botham, Australia, you know, something like ramp, you know, the, sort of the headlights are on, and, 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 and he got his wickets just by bowling not very quickly and not very well, really. Well, there he is, Australia's captain. Striding out to the wicket to take over from Marsh, and uh, this is going to be a pretty important time for him to. And taken by Jack Richards. And that is a great blow for England. Mike Gatting undoubtedly will be delighted with that breakthrough. Yeah. He's got that one away. This will be his 50. Hometown hero Dean Jones briefly stood firm and he made an impressive 59. Into the gap at mid-wicket and a very well played half century by the Victorian Dean Jones. That's too small to continue. Well caught. There's a good catch. But Australia's success at the crease was short-lived. Botham and Gladstone Small crippled the Australian first innings with five wickets apiece. And off the outside edge, Jones trying to play away on the onside, gets a leading edge, Gower comes around, takes the catch, and Australia now five down. You know, Graham Dilley, Gladstone Small, Ian Botham, and I've left, and Philip De Freitas is a bowling attack. Um, then they had two good spinners, Embry and Edmonds. And he's been given out. There wasn't an appeal there from the bowler. That's a strange one, and I think uh, Gladstone Small has got uh, an awful big shock there. The appeal came from behind the wicket, and Peter Sleep has been given out, caught behind. Oh, and he's got him. Zura, in attempting to pull his bat out of the way, has only succeeded in knocking the ball back onto his stumps. Small to continue, Gladstone Small. will get a boundary. I think he was looking to retain the strike. He hasn't done that. But Australia need the runs. It's seven for 133. Keep it going after it. Jack Richards, small coming in. And Richards is the one who gets it. Marvellous catch there by the keeper, Richards. Merv Hughes with naught against his name. He's used to that. He's had three innings in test cricket. Hasn't made a run yet. Maybe he can do it in front of his home crowd here at the MCG. Oh, he's got it! And listen to the chair. <laughs> he's off the mark, and what's more, he's going to get two. Well, they're out of their seats yet at the MCG. Merv Hughes is off the mark in Test cricket. <laughs> Big appeal there for court behind. He's gone. That's Botham's fifth wicket. He's equaled the world record for five wickets in an innings. He's done it 27 times, and this time he did it by finding the outside edge of Merv Hughes's bat. 
Oh, he's got him. Out court. There it is again. Both of them, that man had second slip. Takes the catch. And that brings up five wickets, two for Gladstone Small. So what a performance by Small and both of them.